Alright, so we're going to start off by going over the uh, ten finger choke here. So you're going to have your partner turtled up in front of you and you're kind of sprawled on top of them, whether that's off of a bad shot or you pass in the guard and send it to the front and the neck with various chokes and whatnot. Uh, however, you're, you're in this position. So I'm controlling the head and the arm and then the hand that is under the armpit is going to be grabbing the hand that's by the taking out the slack like so. So if I curl my hand in and I feel that I'm under the chin, so what I mean by that is up here, and I kind of just bend this hand in and I feel that his chin is not down and I'm able to access his neck, I'm just going to start by going off with the uh, 10 finger choke. So curl this in, I feel I'm there, I take this hand out from the armpit, put it in front of the head and now I'm going to maintain the same grip, just grabbing the blade of my hand, his uh, neck is here, like by the meat of my thumb, pinching my elbows in and I'm going to be rowing back sprawl. So elbows tight to my ribs, my knees come off the ground, I'm sprawling on him while pulling this up and it should be super unpleasant, super perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm in this position, I feel that I have his neck. Once I curl this hand in, um, if he tries to put his chin down, he should just be meeting the resistance of my hand blocking him. So this hand comes, grabbing and reinforcing, so I'm kind of like encapsulating his head like this, I'm not flaring my elbows out. The top of his head is going to be pushed down with my stomach as I'm pulling this up through the action of rowing backwards. So, one more time because I know this is pretty awful. Here, curl the hand in, make that connection, everything's nice and tight. Slowly sinking.